Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Hetal Thakkar. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to create view that generates a static response using Python Django Web Framework. I've created an empty directory by Django demo. Here we are going to create a web project using the command Django dash admin start project. Here you have to give name to your project. Let us say first project. It will create the necessary structure, directory structure. I'm using a sublime as an editor. So using the command subl to open the entire folder into the sublime. Now you can see that the first project directory has two components. One is the directory with the same name. And the second is the manage.py file. When you expand the first project, it also contains certain Python files. One project of Django can contain multiple applications. So here, next I'm going to create an application inside this project. For that, in command prompt, I'm navigating to the directory first project. So you can see that there are two things. One is the first project directory and the manage.py file. Now using this manage.py file, I am going to create an application startup uh, name of your application. Here I'd given first step. So when I have executed this command, you can see the change that has occurred to my directory structure. It has created one directory called first step, which has certain files using which we can write our code to generate a view. So here in application, I'm using a views.py file to create a view. Now, what is a view? A view is nothing but what user is going to see on the browser. That is determined by view. View can be created in two ways. One is a function based view and the second is class based view. In this video tutorial, we will be going to have a function based view. I'll import the necessary modules here from Django.http import HTTP response and as I'm creating a function based view I'm defining a function hello world view that will take request as one of the argument so client server model follows the request response model so whenever this UDF will get the request it will generate the response so we'll see here return HTTP response and we'll type the content which I want to display to the user. So here I'm just printing a simple message. Hello world. So you can even consider that one function that is one UDF is one view. So we have created a view here, but now I have to determine the URL pattern that user will use in the browser. So when that particular URL will be executed, this view is going to display. For that, I have to have a urls.py file in my application folder. You can see that I don't have a urls.py file in a default directory structure, but urls.py file is available into the project. So what I will do is I will take the copy of this in a new file. I will paste it. Now where to save this file? Make sure that it as urls.py file is already available in a first project. It should be saved into the application with the same name urls.py. So now we have urls.py at two. Less. One is at the project level and the other is at the application level. How to distinguish it? In Sublime, it will show you that this is a urls.py 
at first project and this is the url.py at application level so i'm closing all these files as of now now the changes which i'm making is urls.py file at application level here in the comment section it is given that if you are if you are creating a function based view then you should use this path statement so here i am just pasting it here i have to determine the view which i have created so i will take the copy of the name from there and will paste it here also i am keeping the name similar to that so that is hello world view so it means that views file has hello world view and when user will use the url pattern hw at that time this particular view will be executed but both urls.py and views.py file are separate you cannot access hello world view as it is so i have to import it from dot import views why dot because urls.py and views.py are in the same folder so we are done with this uh, views dot uh, urls dot py as well as the views dot py file at application level i will close both the files next go to the, your project and uh, the urls dot py file is there here the third comment part that is including another url conf you can see that i have to use a include i have in my import section so the first change i am doing is that and it also suggests me to add this particular statement so i have taken it as a copy and pasting it to access my first application i'll use the url pattern first app here i had to provide the name of my application first app and name of my application is first app now what the entire statement means is i have included my application urls.py file to my projects urls.py file and how it is accessible in the browser it is determined by this first app url okay so we are done with all the uh, coding related part now it is time to check it to run the server you will write python manage.py and run server so by default it runs on 8000 port you can even change it if any error or any syntactic part error is there it will be shown here only so i'm using this url now in my browser now it says that to use the application you will write slash first step and within that to access that uh, hello world view i have to type hw so you can see that we have created a view that has generated a static response hello world thank you for now